What is up, MFers? I hope you're having a lovely afternoon. Got a little bit of a different video today. Exciting video. I'm doing something a little bit different than I've been doing the last few. I am going bank fishing at a local lake, but the area I'm fishing is actually open to the public this time. So I'm gonna get that out there and fish. Also, we'll be using an exciting new piece of technology, well, new to me anyway, that will allow me to turn my smartphone into a fish finder, supposedly, so I'm super excited about that. Let's get to the lake. lakes I should say this is a little state recreation area uh, eastern Nebraska has eight lakes I think and this is actually this takes me back to my roots this is where I like learned how to fish a lot bank fishing in the Omaha area so I'm pretty excited for this these lakes actually have some donkeys they're just like little sand pit lakes they got good grass and this is my favorite uh, favorite time to fish these so as usual you know I got two rods I brought one with uh, fluorocarbon one with braid that way I can throw out deeper, I can throw top water. And uh, yeah, pretty limited on tackle. Brought some top water stuff, some plastic, something to flip, throw around a little bit, a lot of frogs obviously. I'm gonna get to throwing some frogs and see if we can get on some good ones. Super, super psyched about this. These lakes look just awesome. The grass is up, let's get some. I am starting right here and you can just about guess I'm gonna be throwing the frog over this. Oh, speaking of frog, anyway awesome awesome duckweed right here let's see if we can't make a big and come eat this water kind of looks like brackish almost but i can see a bunch of gills down there up shallow so should be some gill eaters in one of these grass patches oh yeah yes good start nice little two pounder he absolutely crushed that frog. I'll take it, two pounder. That guy was not happy. That was a sick blow up. Whew. I'm good with that. Let's do that about 50 more times. Giant gizzard shad right there too. Man, there's big shad in here. Big bluegill, there should be some giant bass in this lake. No doubt about it. Not that many good bites on the frog so far. Kind of surprised about that. That first one just absolutely destroyed it. So it looked like it was really off to a hot start, but that's okay. We'll probably go around, maybe fish some of this thicker duck weed up. The sun's up a little bit. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. So it's not that late in the day, but this time of year, man, it is, sun is up early. It is steamy hot right now, but good weather conditions for summer fishing. Ooh, a frog. Missed it. Oh yeah, oh, lost him. Okay, need to fish for fish now. Maybe all the donks are in this lake. Gotta be one up in this corner, right? Man, we got up to such a fast start and now nothing. All right, we're making a move on to lake number two. So we're off to a decent start, not a great start, but we got that little two pounder and I switched lakes. Now we're gonna try, I'm gonna tie on some baits that I can fish offshore. I think I'm gonna fish like a 10 inch worm and then I noticed there's a lot more submerging grass on this lake. There's a lot less of that duckweed. So I'm gonna take the frog off, throw a little plopping type bait, uh, a new bait that I wanna try out. First though, I wanna play with my new toy. I'm super, super stoked about this. And I think you guys will like it too. So as I get this tied on, I'll explain it. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this. You know, I hadn't heard about it uh, until I ice fished with Flair this last winter, but this is the deeper and the way it works is it connects through Wi-Fi to your smartphone, any smartphone device, 
and turns your phone into a fish finder basically i know a lot of you guys have probably seen this already so it's old news but it's super awesome to me because i fished these lakes growing up and as a kid i would have freaking eaten this technology up just to know what's out there in a lake like this. Is it two feet deep? Is it 20 feet deep in the middle? Are there fish out there? Is there bait? Where does the grass end? It's awesome. It might be a big pile. We're gonna see if it works. So I downloaded the Deeper Sonar app. Supposedly, all you gotta do is go on your Wi-Fi and it's supposed to show up. We'll see if it shows up. All right, so I had to put the Deeper in the water to connect. So we're connected now. So we got Deeper Pro is connected via Wi-Fi. So I didn't know that, but luckily the Deeper app has a manual in it. All right, so let's get this thing. So it says too shallow or too deep. So we're gonna put this down for a second. All right, so we threw the deeper out there. Let's see it work its magic. Wow, that's actually pretty incredible. It's uh, it's 12 feet deep right there. I was not seeing that. So we take this guy, put it over. So right there, it's 12 feet deep. I never would have guessed that. I've been fishing. I've literally fished here my entire life. I did not know that. And so down there, you can see some bait fish. Um, that's the bottom. We're gonna reel it in a little bit. We got the depth up there. Uh, 84 degrees is the water temperature. So this thing shows water temperature depth. As you can see, as we reel it in a little bit further, now we're starting to see, that looks a little bit like grass there on the drop off. I can't believe it's that deep right there. It must drop straight off. And that's awesome. That probably means there's a lot of big bass in this lake too. So we'll get up a little closer. And that said, it has to be at least uh, a couple feet deep to give it a signal. So we're getting up closer. We're starting to see more and more grass as we get up close. Yeah, so you can start to see right there on the screen, we got a bunch more grass. This thing is pretty incredible. Now it says too shallow or too deep, which is what was expected. So let's go throw this thing out a little bit over here and see what it says. This thing is seriously like so user friendly, so plug and play. The app is actually is awesome. All right, so now we cast it out. It's good to go. So, all right, so now we cast it out. We're good to go. It's 12 feet deep out there again, out in the middle. Come over here. Hope you guys can see this. Turn the sensitivity up or down real easily. So if you're getting too much clutter, you can change that. So we know the water's 84 degrees, so everything's gonna be post-spawn. Bluegills are probably gonna be on or getting off beds here. We'll reel it up a little bit closer. So it drops off a little bit there. I can't believe I just casted out a portable fish finder that I can use on my phone. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I don't care if I even catch anything. This is so friggin' sweet. So again, we're starting to see some marks there, whether it's fish, fish or grass. You know, you don't use a fish finder a lot of time to see fish, but this thing actually marks them really, really well. So right there, like a seven foot drop off. So probably off that first ledge, I think I'm definitely gonna tie on a 10 inch worm, probably be able to catch them. Just unreal. You can see it coming all the way up and now we're too shallow. So that's the deeper and it looks amazing. And there's bass blowing up right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go fish over there. This is awesome too, you know, we got the maps on here. So it goes right to where I'm at right now. You can search the look, you can see where you're at. You got the weather, the weather right now for where I'm at pops up on their app super, super quick. It looked a little bit overwhelming before I got this thing, how to use it. Cause it's got so many different things it can do. But Flare was actually using it for ice fishing. Uh, so it switches over to a flasher setting too, which is super super handy I was lugging this big Sonar around and he had this little deeper he was using pretty nifty little thing And so I figured you know the settings would be difficult, but everything's super user-friendly on this thing I can go right over here to ice fishing mode Back and boom, it's a flasher now so we can use a flasher when we're ice fishing like I said, I'm gonna have a ton of fun with this. This thing is awesome awesome technology might not be for you, but I would have absolutely I loved this thing when I was younger. I'm gonna have to have Max cast this thing around. He's gonna freaking love it. There he is. These fish are ultra shallow. I was gonna put that plot. Oh, there he 
is. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what's up, man. There's like a three and a half pounder plus. I saw him chasing some gills up there. <laughs> Threw that in there and boom. That is freaking sweet. That guy was not at all happy with Mr. White Frog. Get a good release on him. Man, that thing is a tank. Easily three and a half pound fish. Stoked. Let's get some more. I don't think I even had to move that and he just crushed it. He was in like six inches of water there, maybe. Probably sitting there waiting for bluegill to come by and just destroying them. All right, I like this lake. Good, good decision to move. We're gonna see if we can run the uh, six inch deep pattern. I gotta be a little bit stealthy right here. Oh yeah, he was up here. There's bluegill on beds right there. That's what he was doing. Oh. Oh my god, that was so sick. I was just shaking it there on that branch and that bass just crushed it. I figured there was probably some in these little trees. Let's see if it comes back. I don't know if I can make it perfectly hang up like that again though. Oh, yes! I knew he was in there. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, that's another one probably close to two pounds. Probably about 15, 16 inches. Not super fat, but that was awesome. All right, buddy. Be good. Hell yeah. Oh, come on. Here it comes. Oh. That was a big one. He waked it. All right, frog bite certainly hasn't dried up because those fish will ambush those bluegill all day long doesn't matter if the sun's high or it gets super hot or cloudy or rain whatever they'll eat them but i want to catch some fish see if i can catch some fish out off this bank here where it is a little bit deeper might be some more fish that are grouped up and i like this 10 inch worm for this because i can fish it pretty quickly which makes it an effective bait from the bank Cover a lot of water with it. Got a nice darker colored worm. If they're there, I would assume they're gonna come eat it. Like sunshine, sunshine is fine. I feel it in my skin, warming up my mind. Sometimes you gotta give in to win. I love the days when it shines. Whoa, let it shine. Sunshine, sunshine is fine. I feel it in my skin, warming up my mind. Oh God, that fish ate it out of the tree. I made a terrible cast. <laughs> Made a terrible, terrible cast. Come here, buddy. <laughs> it was literally hanging from the tree, and that bass came up and got it. I'd say they're a little bit hungry. He's not a big one, a little pound and a half or so, <laughs> but that was sick. Oh my god. I guess he was ambushing whatever would fall from the tree, and he found it. Try this 10 inch worm for a while and then probably get out of here. We're gonna walk all the way around the lake because we're past halfway now. This has been a pretty successful little couple hours out fishing though. I got to use that new deeper, it was awesome. Caught some frog fish, caught one real solid frog fish for here. Be nice to catch some offshore. It's a little bit deeper here, there's no bluegill beds. So I wanna try a little bit of this 10 inch worm out deeper, see if there's some fish out there. And then. We will get out of here. If I could, I would keep this feeling in a plastic jar. Bust it out whenever someone's acting hard. Settle down, barbecue in the backyard. The kids get treats and old folks get classic cars. Whew. Every day that gets the passes. I'm like soaked, and sweaty, looks nasty. So we're gonna bring it to an end right now. We were out for a couple hours this morning. Like I said, hitting up this, these awesome little lakes. This is where I, I came and fished when I was younger. So it was super cool to get back. And awesome to use a new product, that deeper. That was, uh, that was super cool. I was blown away by how effective that was i want you guys to go down and leave a comment below if you want to see a video with all of the features the deeper has to offer you can actually use it like i said for ice fishing you can even mount it to a boat use it for boat fishing so it's super portable so i was really impressed by that i'm excited to use it more and more in the in the future caught those fish today on the topwater popping frog that was a hot bait with those bluegills spawning up shallow there was a lot of bass in there chasing them so really a great way to catch them if you ever if you're ever presented with a situation like that where there's a lot of bluegill you can see up on bed shallow 
look for those little grass edges and those fish some of them were in like maybe six inches of water at most sitting right underneath those grass mats just waiting to ambush a bluegill that came by but i'm getting out of here got some exciting deep fishing videos coming for you guys soon as always go down hit the subscribe button subscribe to melican fishing and see more videos like this let me know if you liked this bank fishing style video thank you guys so much for all the support i will catch you next time peace Thank you.